So in this video, we are going to learn how to send WooCommerce order notification to Discord channel. Now suppose guys, you have created some kind of e-commerce store using WooCommerce and you want that whenever a new order is received on your WooCommerce store, you want to notify your team members on Discord about the new order and its details. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new order on your WooCommerce store. An action will be sending that same order details as a notification, as a channel message on our Discord channel. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavlikinix dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavlikinix in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavlikinix account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name a workflow as WooCommerce to Discord. And then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to connect our WooCommerce store with Pavli Connect so that every time a new order is received on our WooCommerce store, we will get the details of that new order inside our Pavli Connect workflow. And after that, we will be sending those new order details which we have received from WooCommerce inside Pavli Connect to Discord. So guys, here let's begin. Now here in trigger window, in choose app, search for WooCommerce. Select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new order created. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our WooCommerce store with Pavli Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here and then you just have to follow the help text given below over here. Now to add this webhook URL, we will go to our WordPress site and here I have installed my WooCommerce plugin. Just hover on WooCommerce and click on settings option. After coming to the settings page, here you can see that we just have a lots and lots of options out of which we have to click on advanced. And after coming to this advanced page, just scroll down and click on this webhooks button over here. After clicking on webhook button, here you can see a list of all the webhook URLs which we have added in our WooCommerce store can be seen over here. After this, just click on this add webhook button. And then here guys, on this page, we have to add the webhook URL. So the first thing it asks us is the name. That what will be the name of this webhook URL? For example, I would like to name this webhook URL as Discord. Then it is asking a status. So by default, the status is disabled, but from the drop down, we will change it to active. Then it is asking us for the topic. So here in topic from the drop down, we have to select the event that for what event we want WooCommerce to send the data to Pavli Connect. So we want WooCommerce to send the data every time a new order is created. So we are going to select order created as the topic. Then it is asking us delivery URL. And here in delivery URL, we have to paste the same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy this webhook URL from here and paste it over here. Then let's ignore the secret and API version and just click on this save webhook button. And as we click on save webhook, we will see our WooCommerce store will get connected with Pavli Connect. So this webhook URL is added on our WooCommerce store. And then every time now we are going to receive a new order in WooCommerce, the details of this order will be received inside Pavli Connect. And here in Pavli Connect, you can see that we have received a test response from WooCommerce. So what we have to do guys, now after making this connection, we have to make a test order. We are going to place a dummy order on a WooCommerce store. But before that, here in Pavli Connect, you can see we have a button named as Recapture Webhook Response. Just click on this button over here and then it will change to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect's trigger window is waiting to get some data, some response from our WooCommerce store. So let's go to a WooCommerce store and place a test order. So I have opened my WooCommerce store in an incognito tab. And here we are going to place a test order. For example, let's buy this product named as microphone. Let's add this product to cart. 
and then we are going to place a test order for this same product. So the quantity is one, the price is 15,000 and the product is microphone. Proceed to checkout. So here guys at checkout page, let's enter the details of a dummy customer. For example, the name of the customer is dummy name. This is the name. The company is optional. The country is for example, India. So let's search for India. Then let's add a dummy address as well. The city, for example, is Bhopal. State is Madhya Pradesh. And then let's enter the zip code as well. The phone number, for example. This is the dummy phone number and let's add an email address as well. So this is the email address of this dummy customer and it is done. So just now on our WooCommerce store, we are placing the test order and these are the details of that test customer. Click on this place order button and then we will see that a new order. We are going to receive a new order on our WooCommerce store. And the order is received. So just now on our WooCommerce store, we have received a new order. Now, because we have connected our store with Pavli Connect using the Webhook URL, we will see the details of the same order will be received inside Pavli Connect as well. And yes, guys, here you can see that in our Pavli Connect workflow in the trigger window, you can see we have received a response. And this is the response of the same order which we have placed just now. Here we have the same total amount 15,000 for which we have placed the order. Then we will scroll down and we will see some other details regarding the order as well. Like we have the name of the customer, we have the address of the customer which we have entered by placing the order. Then we have the payment method. Then we will scroll down further and we will see some other details as well. For example, we will just scroll down and we will see the details of the product which the customer has ordered. So this is the amount of the product. This is the name of the product. This is the product ID and all of these details. So basically all the details of a new order, which we have received from WooCommerce in Pavli Connect, you can see all of these details over here. Now, after this guys, what we want to do, we want to send the same details of a new order to our Discord channel so that we can update our team members regarding the new WooCommerce order. For that, just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, search for Discord over here. Select Discord. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as send channel message HTML. Click on connect. Now after this guys, the first thing it asks us is the webhook URL. Now here to connect our discord channel with Pavli Connect, we have to basically create a webhook URL in our discord server, in our discord account. And after that, we have to paste the same webhook URL over here in this field as well. So here guys, how you can generate this webhook URL. Now to do so, just go to your Discord channel. So this is my Discord server and the Discord channel name is WooCommerce Orders. So here after reaching to your servers, click on this arrow button on the top corner. Just click here and from this drop down, go to server settings. After reaching to the server settings from the left side, go to integrations. And then here you can see webhooks option over here. Click on webhooks. After clicking on webhooks option, here you can see a list of all the webhook URL which we have created in our Discord account can be seen over here. Click on this new webhook button and then a new webhook URL will be added over here. Just click on it and then we have to give this webhook URL a name. For example, I will name my webhook URL as WooCommerce. And then after naming it, it is asking us for the channel that using this webhook URL on our Discord server, in which particular channel we want to send the message. And in the drop down below, you will see a list of all the channels which you have created in your Discord server. So out of all of this, we have this channel named as WooCommerce Orders. And on this particular channel, we want to send the messages with WooCommerce order details. So we are going to select this channel over here. And after this, just click on this copy webhook URL button and click on this button of save changes. So in this way, we have just now created a new webhook URL on our Discord server for that particular channel. Now after this, just get back to Public Connect and the webhook URL which we have copied just now, paste the same webhook URL over here in this field of webhook URL. Now after pasting the webhook URL, the next thing it asks us is the message. That what is the message which we want to send on our Discord channel for the new order. So here I want my message to be, hello team. 
Okay, so this is the kind of message which I want to send on my Discord channel. Hello team, we have received a new order on WooCommerce store. Customer name, email, product, quantity and amount. So all of these details I want to share of a new WooCommerce order which I received on my Discord channel. Now instead of this guys, you can basically create any kind of message according to your requirement, according to your choice and send that message on your Discord channel for new WooCommerce orders. But in this message here, I want to mention the details of the new order which we have received as well. Like the customer name, their email address, product which they have purchased, what is the quantity and the amount. And we have received all of these order details here in trigger window from WooCommerce orders. So from these responses, one by one, we are going to map the data over here in this message field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in the drop down below, you will see a list of all the responses which we have received from WooCommerce can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of the name of the customer. So here we have the first name, just select it and it will be mapped. After that, just add a space and from the same drop down, map the last name after it as well. So in this way, we have mapped the customer name over here. Now let's map the customer email. So from the drop down, instead of scrolling it, you can actually search for the response as well. Like here you can see that we have searched for email and here we have received the customer email as well. Now let's mention the name of the product which the customer has ordered. So from the drop down, search for the name of the product. This is the item name. Just select it and map it over here. Then we have to map the quantity. So for search for quantity, the quantity was one and map it. And at last it is asking us for the total amount. So this is the total amount. Just select it and map it over here. Or we want to mention the total amount as in this way, for example. So this is the kind of message I want to send. Instead of this message, guys, if you want to make any changes or if you want to add some more data from WooCommerce order details, you can do that in this message. And after creating your message, the next thing it asks us is the bot name and the bot icon. So here, guys, using a bot, we are going to send this message on our Discord channel. But here guys, what we can do, we can actually change the name of the bot who is going to share this message on our Discord channel over here. So for example, I want the name of my bot to be Pavli. And after name, if you want, you can actually change the icon of the bot as well. The display picture of the bot as well, you can change it. You just have to enter the URL, the link of the image, which you want to add as a display picture over here in this bot icon section. Then at last, it is asking us text to speech. So I don't want to enable the text to speech option. So from the drop down, that's why we have selected disable over here. Now, after entering all of these details and creating your message, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received a response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that this message is sent on the same Discord channel whose webhook URL we have added over here. So let's check it. We will go to Discord. We'll go to a Discord channel. And yes, guys, here you can see that a new message is sent on the same Discord channel for which we have created the webhook URL and added it in Pavli Connect. So the message says, hello team, we have received a new order on WooCommerce store. Customer name is dummy name. This is the customer email address. This is the product. This is the quantity and this is the amount. So this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever we are going to receive a new order on our WooCommerce store, automatically the details of that order will be sent on our Discord channel as a channel message to update our team members. Now after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. We will get back to our WooCommerce store and this time we are going to place another order. For example, this time let's place an order for this iron press. Click on this add to cart button. And then here guys, let's change the quantity to, to for example, two. Click on update cart. And then just let's proceed to checkout. Scroll down, click on this proceed to checkout button. And here let's enter the details of the customer who is placing the order. For example, let's change the name as test user. Let's keep the address as it is the same and let's change the email address as well. This is the email address. And then here, this is the product iron press. The quantity is two and the total amount is 800. Click on place order. So just now guys, we are receiving another order on our WooCommerce store. 
And as we receive this order, because we have created this automation, we will see the details of this order will be shared as a new message on our Discord channel automatically. So let's check our Discord channel. And yes guys, here you can see that just now a new message has been sent on our Discord channel which says, Hello team, we have received a new order on WooCommerce 2. Customer name, test user. This is the customer email address. This is the product, iron price, quantity is 2 and the total amount is 800 rupees. So this means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever we are going to receive a new order on our WooCommerce store, the details of that order will be automatically shared on our Discord channel as a message. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.